This image I'm going to show the power of Photoshop brushes to sculpt in light, add smoke into the chimneys, even add different elements in there. This was taken at Hobbiton a few years back and it was a daytime image but I wanted to actually turn it into a nighttime image and if you want to know the techniques how to do that, it's in my YouTube channel, Turning Day into Night. But what I want to do now is show the different techniques that I used using Photoshop brushes. Now I'm going to come up over here to the layers stack and I'm going to turn this layer on and you'll actually see the change in lighting by using Photoshop brushes. I'll just turn that layer on and off. And it's very subtle, but let's zoom in and have a look as I turn that on and off. You can see that I've sculpted light into the windows, into the little lantern where I added some fireflies, and I've done it on a blank layer. Now I'm going to go through this image and start sculpting in light and using Photoshop brushes for different effects. So when I looked at this image, I thought, well, there's a chimney there. What would be coming out of the chimney? I know, smoke. So what I'm going to do is go up to my actions panel, get a new blank layer. I'm going to come over to my brushes and in my atmosphere brush pack, I've got a smoke brush that's in there. So I'm going to choose that brush. I'm going to make sure that it's white and then I'm going to position over the chimney stacks. Now, I'll make that brush a little bit smaller using my bracket keys and with just a dab I add in some smoke and I'll do that on the other one and that's when I look at it and I think oh no they're too close together I'm going to undo and I'm going to use my arrow key on the keyboard just to give it a slight rotation and I'm going to use my bracket key to make that brush a little bit bigger and I may have to rotate it a little bit more and I'll do one click. Now when you look at that, that's quite dominant and your eye goes to that bright spot and it doesn't look at the beautiful doors and the windows of this little Hobbiton house. So this is why doing it on a blank layer, I can come over here and adjust that opacity down. Now, if I don't like the position of that, I can actually use my transform tool, control T for the shortcut, and I'm just going to move it a little bit, give it a little bit of rotation, and so I'm trying to make that smoke look real, what I call make the fake look real, and it's now in the right position, and I'll click on the tick, and there's my actual smoke. Now, because I've still got this smoke brush, I'm going to come up to the actions panel and click on the soft round brush. And now I've got the normal round brush. And that's why I love using the actions panel. Now I'm going to zoom up and have a look and think, what else can I do? And what I'm going to do is add some light coming out of that window. Again, I'll go to the actions panel. I'll get new blank layer and I'm now going to look for a light brush and so I've got all sorts of brushes in my collections and my own personal stash but under the atmosphere I'm going to come to light rays and now as I move that brush across you can see it's a different shape in the shape of light rays and I'm going to get that to come outside the window. Now do I want pure white? or do I actually want a soft yellow colour? So what I'm going to do is come over to the foreground, double click on the white, and then I'm going to look into that yellow colours just up there, and I'm going to get like a really light primrose. I don't want it too bright, and I don't want it too yellow. And I might go for that one now, and I'll click on OK. And I'm just going to rotate the brush again using my arrow keys. 
and I'm just going to position it just where I think the light shaft would come out of that window. And it's sitting at roughly 100%, which is quite strong, but you'll actually see what I'm doing with the brush. One click and there's the brush. But this is why now doing it on a blank layer, I'll come over. I'll drop the opacity down and see if I can get that light shaft looking light. And I might come up to the blend mode and let's see what I can create. Sometimes I'll go to multiply. Sometimes I'll go to darken. No. Do I want lighten? No. Screen. Let's go to soft light. Now, soft light does give a real subtle light coming through, but I'm going to bring that opacity back up so it gives it that shaft of light. But it's not positioned where I want. But because it's on a blank layer, I'll go up to my transform tool and I can now readjust that light shaft. So I'm going to reposition it. I can even go here and make it longer or I can make that shorter. I can rotate it so you get the double-headed arrows and I'm going to rotate and I think I'm happy with that. But when I look at the smoke in the chimney, I think it's a little bit too dominant. So I'm going to go back down to layer four and click on it and I'm going to drop the opacity even further down so it's very subtle. Now I'm thinking I'm working with this, I can actually do more. Now before I start playing a little bit more with adding light and using Photoshop brushes, I'll just come over to the layer stack and just to refresh or recap on good housekeeping, I've named the layers, for example, smoke and right window. And that just helps me know what I've done in my workflow, particularly if you're saving your images as a PSD, which I suggest that you do, or TIFF. It's a personal choice. Now, as I look at the image, I think, is there any more lighting that I could actually do? So I'm going to come up and get a blank layer, and then I'm going to think, well, what can I add can I add a little bit more light here in the door? And I think I will, just a subtle little bit of brushwork. I'm going to keep it in that yellow tone, that primrose, but I'm going to check the opacity. It's on 15. This could work. So what I'm going to do with my brush is just what I call dab. And what I'm doing is putting in that light. Now, that seems a little bit bright. So what I'm going to do is come over to Opacity and just drop that down a little bit. Now let's have a look. And I zoom up and I'm constantly zooming up and down when I'm working on my creative images. Could I put a little bit of light here? And I'm just dabbing. And I don't like that because it doesn't work in with the tones. Let's have a look and see where else. I could do a little bit of lighting just here on those stepping stones and I'm going to change to white now. So I'll do that foreground in white. The opacity is at 15, so I'm going to drop that even further down to about, let's say, a 10. And I'm just subtly dabbing in light. And what I'm using is just the soft round brush. Now I feel that lantern needs a little bit more light up here and I'm just dabbing and clicking where I want that light. Let's have a look at what else I can do with some Photoshop brushes. Now look, if I wanted to have a bit of fun, I could easily put a bird over on that post. I could add some mist. But this is just giving you an idea of how you can build up light, smoke, if I wanted to add fog or mist. Let's come and have a look at those layers that I've added using Photoshop brushes to add in light, smoke, etc. This layer here is lighting, so I'm going to turn that layer on. 
and you can actually see that it's just coming out of those windows there. The next was where I added smoke using a brush in the chimneys. I did some more brushwork on the lighting on the right window just here. And then I've done another layer to dab in light and look at the difference. Now, when I've turned that layer on, I feel it's a little bit too bright. I can easily just adjust my opacity. I can even try a blend mode. Might go down to soft light and bring up the opacity. This is where you play with your opacity and blend modes to get that look. But look at the difference. I'll turn all those layers off and let's see. That's what we started with. A totally different look using just a few simple Photoshop brushes. This is just about giving you an idea of the power of using Photoshop brushes. Thank you for watching. And if you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. Have fun being creative.